Hey everyone, this is Nate Eckerson. I am the creator of the Stop Motion Explosion book and animation kit. Today I'm going to teach you how to use AMCAP. AMCAP is not an animation program. Instead, it's a program that allows you to adjust some settings of your camera that you might not know that you have. So to start AMCAP, uh, you usually find the program icon on your desktop after you install the camera that comes with our animation kit. So as you can see here, I've started up the program, it's running, and you can see an image from the camera in the main men menu. Now, I'm going to click the Options button here, and then I'm going to click Video Capture Filter. Now, Video Capture Filter shows you the options that are available for your camera, the different settings you can apply. So if you look here, you see we have a bunch of uh, image effects that can be applied to the image. But you also have uh, below here a number of things that are called frames. I don't recommend applying the image effects because you can always do this after the fact when you're editing your video. But uh, you might like this night vision effect, which is kind of like a sniper scope. Not all of these options may be available to you depending on the camera that you're using. But these are the options that come to you if you buy our stop motion animation camera. So I'm going to turn off the special effects and switch over to the video tab. Now here in the video tab, we can adjust the image. Uh, we can make the image brighter or darker. Uh, we can adjust the contrast. And uh, we can also adjust the saturation. If you tweak the saturation all the way down, you'll see the image become black and white. If you tweak it up, the image will become very colorful. Finally, I'm going to show you this tab here, the camera control tab. Now, if you are making stop motion videos with your camera, you might remember that we recommend that you turn off the auto exposure. And that's as simple as unchecking this box here. Now, you notice the image just went dark because the camera isn't automatically adjusting the exposure. But when I tweak the slider here up, you can see the image gets brighter again. So remember, you want to keep auto exposure turned off. That way when you move your hand in front of the camera, the image won't automatically brighten up. And you'll avoid the flicker effect that happens in many stop motion animations. After you click OK, uh, the settings that you've created should be saved. And when you start up your animation program, you'll see the image looks exactly the way you want it to. So I recommend checking out AMCAP. It's a great way to adjust your camera settings. For more information about our stop motion animation kit, visit stopmotionexplosion.com.